driving around the manic car test area. This is for a restricted test. This is what you'll most probably be doing. Okay, so you're going to be leaving the car park by turning left and going down Freeman's Way. It's going to be a sharp turn to the left. Once you turn, get the car straight. The road will be narrow. Presume it's two way because we have nothing else to tell you what else it is. Always presume it's two way unless you see a one way sign. All the way down to the end, and we'll be turning right into Jack Conway Avenue. When you're turning right into there, there will be cars parked on both sides, so you will have to crawl a little bit over to see properly. Indicate mirror shoulder check, turn right, keeping left, get the car straight all the way down to the end. There'll be a giveaway sign and we'll be turning right. Indicate right, have a look in the mirror, look around. As you get closer, again, it's a giveaway sign, but again, you won't be able to see, so go a little bit more forward and then turn right. There will be cars parked on both sides. Keep reasonably to the left and keep going. Speed limit along this road is 60 because the last time you saw was 60. But stay at a comfortable speed, 45, 50 will be fine because it is narrow and there will be cars parked. All the way down to the end and we're turning left. It's a giveaway sign. It's a wide turn but there are two lanes and you need to keep left after you turn left. There's also a bus lane there. After you turn left, stay in your lane, keep going. As you go forward on Graceland Road, just before Regent Street Road, there's a 50 sign. You will need to be at 50 from that point on. Okay, the traffic lights, we're going to keep in the left lane. Remember, there's two lanes, always keep in the left lane. Okay, after the lights, we're going to go straight through and keep going. You'll have Casper Spring on the right and then Pembroke on the right as well. So once you pass Casper, just before the on gas place and just between on gas and budget, Travel in, you'll be turning right into there. So you need to indicate right, have a look in the mirror, check your right shoulder, move into the right lane, and as you go forward, move into the flush medium. And you can stop just before the street, so that when you turn, it makes it much easier and it's much more comfortable. The other cars have a stop sign, so you have the right of way. All you have to do is give way to cars coming straight towards you. There are two lanes, and also people coming out of the safe station, so make sure it is safe. Once you turn in, go straight. You'll need to stop on the left somewhere. So you need to indicate left, have a look in the mirror, check your shoulder, move across and stop. The bus lane, cycle lane there is narrow, so you won't be able to fit all the way in, as long as you're not blocking the driveway or blocking cars reversing out or blocking the road in general. Okay, so once you've stopped, we'll take off and go. You need to indicate right, have a look in the mirror, check your right shoulder. As you move, the road is narrow, it is unlaned, we'll be turning right. When you turn right, is uncontrolled intersection, so you will need to give way to cars coming out. Okay, as you get closer, make sure there's no one coming towards you and no one turning. Right, safe, indicate, check, and then turn. Once you get the car straight, it's going a little bit uphill, so be aware of that. As you go to the end, there's a, cro um, it's a crossroad controlled by giveaway signs. You need to give way. It's hard to see what's coming from your right hand, from your left hand side, so crawl a little bit forward so you can see. Right hand side should be safe. Safe, check, and then go. Turn right, get the car straight all the way down Casper Road to the stop sign. At the stop sign, we are turning right. Okay, so there's four lanes over here plus a flush median. When you turn right, aim to be in the flush median, but as you turn, if it's safe, don't worry about going to the flush median, just go straight into the right lane and keep going. The thing with the stop sign here is there's a bus stop just on the right hand side of that. So if there's a bus stopped or there's cars stopped further down, you won't be able to see. So you will need to crawl a bit forward. Opposite the intersection, there's a veggie shop where cars tend to pull out and they don't know where they're going because they're indicating one way and they will turn the other way. So be aware of them. The safest option is just to give way to them and then go when it's safe. And also be aware of cars turning right into Casper Road because you are a stop sign and they'll be focused too much on cars coming towards them rather than where you're waiting. Okay, so when it's safe, turn right, get the car straight, you move into the flush median, and if it's busy, stop and wait. Wait for the cars to pass, indicate left, speed up, and merge into the right lane. As you're going forward, you'll be turning right, you'll be turning left straight after into the next street. Okay, go forward, turn left, you'll have to move into the shoulder, bus lane, and then the parking lane if there's no cars park there. And then when you're turning left, you have to give way to cars turning right. After you turn left, go up, go down the road, there will be cars parked on the left hand on the right hand side, so be aware of that. Okay, and we will turn left again, 
It's a windy road. It's a sharp left turn. Turn, get the car straight. We'll go forward and we will be turning left again. Once you turn left, you will go down and get into Holden Place. It's under the left turn. Okay, so there's two dead ends there. First one, we'll do a three-point turn. So indicate mirror shoulder chin. Move forward, stop, look right, look left, into reverse, look back, reverse back. As you move back, turn all the way left. Once you get there, indicate right, check both sides, and then move. Okay, go to the other end and do a U-turn. Get the car straight, turn left, and stop. Once you've stopped, we're going to reverse into the street again. So straight back while indicating left. As you go back, look back, don't focus too much on the mirrors. Okay, and as you go back, make as you get closer to the end, make one whole turn to the left, wait for the car to go around. As it gets closer to the curve, one whole turn to the right. If you do turn all the way to the left side, you would have to turn all the way right and all the way left. This makes it more complicated. Just make one big turn, wait for the car to go left. As long as you don't go too wide, it will be fine. Okay, so once you've done that, we're going to go forward and then turn right. Is uncontrolled intersection, so you will need to give way to all cars going straight. All cars turning in should give way to you. So just make sure that we stop before you move. Okay, so once you pull out, we'll go down to the end and we'll be turning left. Okay, after you turn left, it's a sharp corner, we'll turn with the road all the way down to the end and we'll turn left again. Okay, as we go down, we'll be turning right into Avis L. Uncontrolled intersection. The road is wide, but as you're turning, it will get narrow. Okay, so when you turn, you keep reasonably to the left. Again, you have to give way to all cars coming out and all cars going straight. Once you turn, keep going straight. Normally, after Regent Street, on the left, there's a school bus parked. Sometimes it's parked from the driver, other times it's parked from the road, so be aware of that. All the way down to Birdswood Ave, we'll be turning left there. And when you turn left, normally there's a truck parked around the corner, so be aware of that. After you turn left, get the car straight. This is your first stop sign. Okay, you need to fully stop, check both sides, and then move. Okay, so we'll be turning left, indicate, mirror shoulder check, and then turn left. Beware of cars coming down up from the front. So if they're turning right, they will go first. Once you turn, as you turn, just beware of the dairy on the left on the right hand side. Okay, there might be people doing U-turns from there or people running across the road. Once you get the car straight, keep going down Carruth Road. Okay, so you have Elizabeth Street on the right and then King Street. Once you pass Elizabeth, Elizabeth Street, as you get closer to King Street, there'll be a blue circle pointing out where the island is. Aim to go past the island and move into the plush median and then turn to King Street. As you turn to King Street, okay, we're going to go forward and stop again. King Street is narrow, so be aware of that. Okay, so indicate left, look in your mirror, look over your left shoulder, pull over and stop. Okay, once you've stopped, now take off and go. Indicate right, have a look in your mirror, check your right shoulder, speed up straight, don't pull out onto the road, and then gradually move it all the way down to King Street, and we'll be turning right into Fitzroy Street. The thing over here is it is a sharp turn, and the hedge will be blocking your view. Okay, make sure you're keeping left, and then turn right. After you turn right, there's a roundabout. The roundabout we're gonna go straight through. Okay, check both sides. As you leave the roundabout, indicate left and leave. Okay, once you pass the roundabout, the first street on the right, we will turn right. So you need to indicate, have a look in the mirror, check your right shoulder, move a little bit closer to the center, and then turn in. Okay, once you've turned in, we'll go down the slow street. And either you'll do a three-point turn, U-turn, or reverse it. For now, we'll just go down and do a U-turn. Go to the end, move more to the left, indicate right, Check your right shoulder, turn around, get the car straight, and go. So you're coming back onto Fitzroy Street, and we'll be turning right. There is a giveaway sign. You need to give way to cars. You need to give way to everyone. The only car you don't have to give way to are uh, cars turning left from the opposite side. Once you've turned right, go forward and turn right again. It's uncontrolled intersection. That's going to go uphill. Go all the way to the top, and we're turning left. Another uncontrolled intersection, and then turn left. Once you turn left, go all the way down to the end, and then turn left again, all the way down Highwood Street Road, down to Fitzroy again, and then we'll be turning right. Uncontrolled intersection. You need to give way to all cars going straight. Cars turning right should give way to you. Once you've turned, go all the way down to Wallace Road, and we'll be turning left. Okay, so indicate in your shoulder check, turn left, all the way down. 
20 road and we'll be turning left again. So indicate uh, shoulder check, turn left and go down. Okay, 